Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. First watch this please subscribe my channel for more health content, where we dive deep into science, anatomy, and sometimes those questions you're too shy to ask. Today, we're exploring a topic that's surrounded by curiosity, controversy, and a lot of myths. What is the women's G-spot? Grab a cup of tea, get comfortable, and let's talk facts, anatomy, and science. By the end of this video, you'll know what the G-spot is, where it's thought to be, what the research says, and why the conversation around it is so important. Section 1, Introduction to the G-spot. The G-spot, or Grafenberg spot, is an area inside the vagina that some people believe can lead to intense sexual pleasure, and even orgasm, when stimulated, named after Dr. Ernst Grafenberg, the German physician who described this erogenous zone in the 1950s, but does it really exist? Is it the key to pleasure, or just a myth? Let's break it down. Section 2, Anatomy, Where is the G-Spot? The G-Spot is typically reported to be located about 2 to 3 inches, 5 to 8 centimeters, inside the vagina, on the front, anterior, wall, between the vaginal opening and the urethra. Some describe it as a small, spongy area that can swell and become more sensitive when stimulated. Section 3. What happens when the G-spot is stimulated? Stimulation can lead to a sensation described as different from clitoral stimulation, often deeper, more internal, and sometimes resulting in powerful orgasms, or even female ejaculation. Not everyone experiences pleasure from G-spot stimulation, and the intensity can vary widely from person to person. Some women report intense orgasms, while others feel little or nothing at all. Section 4. The Science, Does the G-Spot Exist? The existence of the G-Spot is still debated among scientists and doctors. Some studies have found anatomical evidence of a distinct structure in the anterior vaginal wall, sometimes described as a bean-shaped or sac-like area. Other research, including large studies with twins, found no consistent evidence that the G-spot exists as a separate anatomical entity. Some researchers suggest that the G-spot may actually be part of the internal structure of the clitoris, which extends into the vaginal wall. Section 5. Myths and Misconceptions Myth. The G-spot is an organ, fact. It's not a separate organ, but rather an area that may contain sensitive tissue, nerves, and glands. Myth. All women have a G-spot that leads to orgasm. Fact. Sensitivity varies greatly. Some women have sensitive areas, others do not. Myth. Penetrative sex is the best way to stimulate the G-spot. Fact. For many, targeted pressure or a come here motion with fingers is more effective than in and out penetration. Myth. Men have a G-spot. Fact. The term is specific to female anatomy, though men have a prostate, sometimes called the male G-spot, but that's a separate topic. Section 6. The G-spot and the clitoris, are they connected? Modern research shows that the clitoris is much larger than most people realize, with internal structures that extend into the vaginal wall. Some scientists believe that what's called the G-spot is actually part of or closely related to the internal clitoral tissue. Stimulation of the G-spot may actually be stimulating these internal parts of the clitoris. Section 7. The controversy why is there debate? Some experts argue the G-spot is a myth, citing lack of consistent anatomical evidence and variation in sensitivity among women. Others say that focusing too much on the G-spot can make women feel inadequate if they don't experience pleasure from that area. The most important takeaway. Everyone's body is different, and there's no right way to experience pleasure. Section 8. Practical Tips Exploring the G-spot. If you're curious, communication and consent are key. Use lubrication and try a gentle, come here motion with clean fingers on the front wall of the vagina. Listen to your body and your partner. What feels good for one person may not for another. There's no pressure to find or enjoy G-spot stimulation. Pleasure is personal and unique. Section 9. Final Thoughts Embracing Sexual Diversity. The G-spot is a fascinating part of sexual anatomy, whether it's a distinct structure or part of the clitoris. It's clear that female pleasure is complex and diverse. Don't get caught up in myths or pressure to experience pleasure a certain way. 
celebrate your body, communicate with your partner, and remember, there's no one size fits all when it comes to sexuality. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and let us know your questions in the comments. Remember, knowledge is empowering and pleasure is personal.